so no matter what day of the week, there's always the age old question, what's for dinner? Well, in my case, what's for dinner, mom? In a week filled with work, play, and family time, we crave a variety of delicious meals, but don't always have time to cook every single ingredient. So on today's episode, we will be using a few simple pre-made, pre-cut ingredients. I will share three dinner ideas that are fast and full of flavor. Before we dive in, I have a question for you. Have you subscribed to my channel yet? It only takes a second to hit that button, and if you really want to level up, you can become a Quick Fix super fan. Just hit the bell for notifications, and you'll be one of the first to know when we launch new episodes. You all, I have a very, very special guest joining me today, and I'm so incredibly excited. You may know her from starring roles in Marlin, Half and Half, and my favorite, I'm partial, because it's Smart Guy with my brother Taj. Please help me welcome actress, mom, and my friend, Essence Agnes! <laughs> hey girl! Hello! How are you? I'm amazing, how are you? I'm great, you look beautiful. Thank you, so do you. I, I feel like we kind of I know, I mean, of. I mean, sisters, I mean, well, how many I'm times Annie. do we get this? All the time. All, like, I actually pretended to be you once. I couldn't disappoint the woman. She was like, are you the, this is before Tamara got married, and she was oh. like, are you the married one or the single one? And I was married at the time, and yeah. I was like, the married one? She was so excited. Aww. I am so sorry, whoever you are in Chicago, my apologies. Well, I just, <laughs> I mean, I, I wanna say thank you so much for joining me. I have a question for you. Yes. Do you cook? <laughs> I cooked all the time when I was married, and okay. since then, my son doesn't like my cooking. You love chicken, right? I do. Okay, I'm a huge fan of chicken. We eat a lot of chicken at home. One of the main things that I love to do is actually grab a already cooked rotisserie chicken. Ah, from the grocery store. From the grocery mm. store. Um, and that is actually what we will be using today. So it's very, right very here. simple, easy. But first thing we're gonna start with is our Asian crunchy chicken salad. What we're gonna do is basically you're just gonna start dumping all of these ingredients okay. into this bowl. Okay, I'm gonna start, start with, with our the cabbage, cabbage, which yes, is our which is cabbage. cabbage. Right. And I'm making the dressing right here. Okay. And what I've put in is some oil. Okay. okay, so this is the cabbage and now I'm putting in some cucumbers. cucumbers. I feel like the star ingredient in this dressing, and this mm -hmm. is like a Vietnamese dressing, okay. is fish sauce. If I'm being very honest with you, it's fish, not the most it's pleasant smell, aroma. It smells pretty bad. <laughs> But it is oh so good. It's an okay. essential ingredient. Yes. Okay, so I put some cucumbers. Then you're just gonna go ahead and just throw the, the Drunk, carrots, dump, dump the, the carrots, carrots in there. Okay. This is rice wine vinegar. vinegar. Okay. And then I'm gonna add some juice of two limes. Limes. Okay. Yes. Next you're gonna add uh, some chicken. chicken. Okay. Okay, so you we, wanna tell the story how we met? I I don't remember. I mean, I think you know. Essence! When do the when first, did, the first did we meet on set? set? Yes. On okay. Set. No, I wasn't sure if it was actually on the set of the of the pilot. Oh. Yeah. I yeah. Think it may have been the pilot. Yes. So it's 1996, and I've been cast to play Taj's sister, sister who is uh, my brother. His her, yeah, and I'm playing you know Yvette on the show Smart Guy, and Darlene came in, my mother, with the girls <laughs> and Tim. And my dad. Yes, her dad. <laughs> And I think even Tavier might have been there, but he was really little. Yeah. And I met the entire family. And the one thing that I remember that also became something I adopted was everybody had on WWJ. <gasps> you remember yes. that? Yes. Wow. What would Jesus do? Bracelet. Little bracelets. Everybody would say that Essence Atkins was like the third sister. I the mean, lost sister. The lost sister. But what's even crazier and cooler is Essence, uh, she actually is on Family Reunion, you know, because we shot the That's third. That's yep. right, you guys. And guess who was cast to play her sister? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next what you're gonna do is you're gonna add all of these herbs. Okay. Add the mint, and okay. then you're gonna add the cilantro. cilantro. But I have a tip for you. Instead of chopping it with the knife, mm -hmm. when you do that, it bruises the, the leaves, yeah, kind of tear it off like uh -huh. that, like this. Then you're not bruising the herb. Okay, so and then it's it, gonna stay longer. It can stay longer in the fridge. Yes. Okay. So do you see how easy this is? I do. Do you think you can do this? I can. I can. See, I, I believe, believe in you. you. Ah! 
Next, so like I said, this mm -hmm. is my Asian crunchy chicken salad. So right. what's gonna give it that nice crunch is we are gonna add some deep fried noodles. Okay. And then we're gonna add some peanuts to this. Peanuts. So we're gonna, you can go ahead and just dump all of the peanuts in there. I know that you're gluten free, yes. right? So you don't have to add the noodles to this if if, if you you know don't right. want to. Right, we can to. put it on the side and the other guests can put, can add them. If yes, what like. I love is to still get that crunch, crunch from the salad, you can get it from the peanuts. peanuts. So yeah, and guess what? That's all you have to do is toss. Do you see how easy this was? It actually was. I was intimidated, but it, it wasn't so I bad. mean, this ain't Tia Mori's quick fix for nothing. That's right. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and set this aside. Okay. We'll dress it later, okay. but now we're gonna move on to our chicken enchiladas and wait until you see how easy this is. All right, you guys, so now we are gonna be moving on to our second dish using chicken. Yes. We are gonna be making easy, e easy chicken <laughs> enchiladas. enchiladas. I need the easy part. <laughs> you got this, Essence. I mean, come on, you got this. Okay, All right. so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna make the enchilada sauce. So we're gonna start with our roux. And a roux is something that you do to thicken up the sauce. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do first. I'm gonna add some oil. Oil, olive oil in here, Okay. right? Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna add some gluten-free gluten flour. Free. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So I make the roux. Okay. You can just go ahead and start rolling start up the- rolling, you guys. Yes, the enchiladas. And how did you discover that you needed to start living like a gluten-free lifestyle, should I say? Well, um, it was like 2015, 2016, and I found myself really bloated and very tired, lethargic mm. all the time. And so eventually I went to a doctor and he tested my blood for food allergies. Uh -huh. And it turned out I was eating all of this stuff that I'm allergic to that I had no idea that I was allergic to. Things yeah. that are otherwise very healthy, like cauliflower. Yeah. I'm allergic to cauliflower. Wow. I didn't know that. So because of this, um, I changed my diet and it made such a huge difference in terms of my energy, but also just in terms of like, kind of the added benefit was my fitness. Right, just put some salt in there. And now I'm just gonna add some water to this. And you know what, if you want, mm -hmm. you can actually use chicken broth. Oh. To just even give it even more flavor. All right, look at that. Mm -hmm. You can actually start to see the sauce. Yeah, you can. It smells really, really good. Those are looking fantastic Thank and great. You. I did want to say something about mm -hmm. hiding veggies into Ooh, yeah, the yeah, dishes, yeah. right? Because we, we have kids. kids. And I'm telling you, you guys, Cairo, we <laughs> all know how she feels about her veggies. Go oh, tell me. Especially broccoli. That girl, oh. she just cannot stand broccoli. So what I like to do is I like to hide it. And you guys, if you really want to see how she feels, just go ahead and click the video below. <laughs> You'll be entertained. We're I telling on Cairo. You. We're telling on. I <laughs> promise you. But the kids are not even gonna know that veggies, veggies are, are in the here. enchiladas. They're okay. certainly not, because we're gonna put this delicious sauce on. Yes, there. we are. Oh so, wait, we have one more step. We have one more step. We have the tomato paste. I love cooking with uh, tomato paste. Mm. Again, do you see how easy this is? I do. Because really, there's no cooking. Right, I kind of feel like Lucy with the chocolates, like you just put together the, you just assemble We're just stuff. assembling, and again, yeah. we're using chicken. Yes, which that was already cooked. cooked. Look at how this is like thickening up and looking really, really nice. Oh yeah, that's it. See? Really good. And we have our homemade enchilada sauce. Yes, okay, so now I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna roll this last yes. enchilada. And I should also tell you guys that she was so kind to get me some tortillas that are also gluten-free, so I can eat this. Yay! And it's not about being trendy, it's really about knowing what works for your body. It really is about just taking better care of ourselves mm -hmm. so that we can have longevity, so that we can be 50, but look 30. I mean. <laughs> This is an example of what self-care looks like, you guys. Essence Atkins, Thank I mean, you. come but, on. But no, I wanna say that changing my diet really gave me new energy. Like, mm -hmm. I ran my first half marathon when I was 48 years old. And my cousin, who had been running her whole life, was like, you're Hold on, stop. You're just talking right <laughs> over that. You ran your first half, half marathon yeah, at well, 48 years old? Yeah. 
I started training. My girlfriend, who's my best friend, friends Ellie, who's 15 years younger than me, she had run the New York Marathon and said, I want to start running again, but I, I train better with a partner. So I started wow. training with her. I was never a runner. I never ran at all. Like, I hate not running. track or anything. I hate running. Well, see, now so you, <laughs> I so fell in love with it. I fell in love with so it. So is that like your workout of choice? It like, is my workout yeah. of choice. And while I'm running, I'll like say prayers or I'll think of affirmations and I'll kind of let my body be the, be the almost like the metronome. You know what? That's amazing. I have never heard that before. I'm wow. Off. Incredible. With that said, <laughs> we're gonna put this, this in the This is oven. incredible. <laughs> 400, 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes until the cheese gets really nice and gooey and gooey. And gooey, and we should put foil on top, Yes, right? we should, okay. okay. Right here, do you wanna do the honors? Sure. Okay, just go ahead, do that, and then I will open up the oven for you. All right. And we're gonna have easy chicken enchiladas in a few minutes. <laughs> so now, meal number three. Yes. Or dish number three. We're keeping it quick. With chicken. With chicken. We're keeping it quick, we're keeping it easy, and we're keeping it delicious. Delicious. We're gonna show you how we make my chicken Alfredo pizza. pizza. Yummy, who doesn't love pizza? I, somebody did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't what know. An honest answer. <laughs> I don't know what else to say I about mean, that. My kids, the thing that they love to eat or they can't, if they could, they would eat every, every day. single day pizza. is pizza. Okay, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna make my Alfredo sauce. Which okay? I love. All right, we're so starting first, with. We're starting with our butter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let that melt down. Okay. okay. And you know what? This is actually store-bought flatbread. Then what I'm going to do to make this quick and easy, mm -hmm. we are, because you know, sometimes Alfredo sauce, it needs a lot of love and attention. Yeah. But this is quick fix. So I'm gonna add some cream cheese. Okay. Right? And that's gonna accelerate. Yes, it's yeah. gonna make it really nice and thick and okay. creamy. You know, people ask all the time, I know they, they ask me, so I'm sure they ask you, how, what's the secret to this longevity that we've yeah, had? Yeah, in this business. In this business, what do you think it is? I think, personally, is staying true to who you are. I had this philosophy, if you don't like me, then bye, hmm. then okay, you know what I mean? Like, this is who I am, and if you don't like who I am, then oh well. I had to discover grace. Ooh! Not being so hard on myself. Yes. You know, and not constantly, like, thinking and ruminating about how I could have done something differently or yeah. better but, and trusting that my intuition is enough. That? And my intention is enough. Like, wow. My and that like you are enough. enough. Woo. Woo, girl. Wisdom right there. <laughs> Wisdom. Right. This business is hard. It is. There's a lot of rejection too. Oh, and to boy. <laughs> People have no they idea. They have no idea. And the way that you're rejected. Oh my God, it's so cool. You were too cool. tall. You you're were too, too short. short. You we didn't like your hair. Stuff that you can't change. Yeah, yeah. You talk funny. You're not this enough. You're too that. You're, Ugh. yeah. I mean, and it is unedited. It's completely unfiltered how you will hear this feedback. Like it's the stuff that in a corporate, in corporate America, you would be fired. Like yeah. HR would be like yeah. suing you. The reality of it is too, you guys, you have to have thick skin. Yeah. Like you have to, this business is, you see all the glitz and the glam. You see, you see 3% of what our time it actually is. When yes. you see a red carpet and we're all dressed up and hair and makeup or whatever, that's literally like 3% of what our job yes. actually entails. The 97% <laughs> hey, everything is, no. <laughs> oh my gosh, see this is unscripted. So that's how you know that it's this real. is real. So we have this nice, creamy texture. What would I say to my younger self? Yeah. Trust the process. Mm -hmm. Trust the journey. Trust that everything is going to work itself out. Mm -hmm. Everything will be okay. Um, and you got this. Mm -hmm. I love that. No, Thank I you. love that. I would tell my younger self, you are the tortoise. You are not the hare. Ooh. I need you to accept that. 
And really, like, if I knew what a marathon this business was and the ebbs and flows of it. It is not a sprint. It is not it a is sprint. Not. There is so much purpose in the process that helps you be able to bear the next level. It grooms your patience. It, it grooms yes. your gratitude. It grooms so many essential things that when you do get to the next level, you are not wasteful about it, girl. And you are prepared. It, mm, that is the truth. Mm -hmm. Your steps are ordered mm -hmm. and everything is a stepping stone in life mm -hmm. that will lead you to where you need to be. You may not know what's going on in your life, why this is happening in your life, but I will guarantee you that five years, 10 years, or even sometimes two days or a week right. later, you will get that answer and go, oh, now I know why that happened. And that's why I trust the process. Yeah. Because I'm like, okay, this really sucks right now. You know, this is what's <laughs> happening. Listen, but I have I'm to in trust a season it. like that right now where there's a lot so of, I. there's a lot of question marks. And then I remind myself to trust the tapestry of God. Yes, okay. Do you uh, want to do this, Essex? Sure. You should do you this. You know, she's baptism by fire. I'm in game. Another way to get vegetables in, we're gonna add some spinach that I've already sauteed, or you can use frozen spinach, which is already cooked. I don't know about you, but when you come home from work, you're tired, you're yeah. exhausted, and for mothers, the job doesn't end. Stop. Yeah. This is an easy, quick way to get a great meal on the table for your family. And yeah. I mean, this is just like one thing, right? Yeah. You have your protein, you have your carbs, vegetables. you have your vegetables, mm -hmm. and we're just gonna put this in the oven at 450 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. All right, let's go. Do you okay. wanna do the honors? I will do the Thank honors. You. <laughs> you ready to go? Let's I'm ready. Try. I'm ready. It smells so good. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> and delicious. So light and fresh. Mm-hmm. The dressing is really, really good. Oh my gosh. And the peanuts. Mmm. So really. It's really delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna dive into this chicken Alfredo pizza. I mean, you guys, look at how beautiful this is. It's it's nice it and looks warm. Great. That is not gluten-free, so mm -hmm. I'm not eating it. But um, this is. Yes, triumphant. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's, she's dancing, so I know it's good. This Alfredo sauce. is bomb. Okay. All right, well, here I go with my easy enchilada. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm it's good. Mm -hmm. That's very good. That's very good. Y'all, we are having a party in this kitchen. There's no excuse, you guys. No excuse essence. There's <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, come on. You're right, you're right. There's at no excuse. At the beginning of this episode. I did, I said. But now look at what you're now, saying at the end. It's, I'm very capable, you guys. I'm very you capable. You more than capable. And now I just need someone who will appreciate it the way that I do. <laughs> Join me, whoever oh my God. you are. Well, you're talking about joining. I just want to say thank mm. you so much for joining me today. Mm. I mean, we have known each other for such a long time. And to be able to like see more of each other, you know, now that we're older mm -hmm. and wiser, should I say? It's beautiful. It is really, really beautiful. And then we've been able to get to work together and then you come on Quick Fix. It has really been a pleasure just getting to know you more, mm -hmm. all of that good stuff. I'm very grateful. Aww. Thank you for having me. I'm very <laughs> grateful for you too. And I'm so happy you loved everything. I do. I love everything. I hope you enjoyed these three quick recipes that we prepped for the week. Let us know what's for dinner at, at your, your house. house. Right. And we may just try to make a quick fix version. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.